so here we are. Uh, like I said, they sent me three devices. Uh, the first one is a Zigbee smart switch. So it comes in a pretty small box. Uh, it's really similar in size to uh, like a Sonoff Basic. The setup is almost the same, except all the wires go in on one side, as opposed to having in uh, put on one side and output on the other. Other than the uh, Zigbee switch, you get instructions on how to uh, wire it up and uh, to configure it for smart things. All right, now this next box, so we're going to basically put this in line with a, a power strip. Uh, it's an easy way to test uh, these types of devices. Now, just a reminder, this is a Zigbee device. So in order to use this, you will obviously have to have some sort of Zigbee controller, either with a SmartThings hub or some other kind of uh, Zigbee controller. All right, so I've cut the cord and I have stripped the wires down and I'm ready to wire it into the Zigbee switch. And here we are, we've got it all wired up. I just need to put the little cover back on and then we are ready to test it out. The one issue I had with wiring this up and it's really my fault, uh, nothing wrong with the Zigbee switch itself is that the uh, power strip that I'm using has an extremely thick cord and it does not fit well in the Zigbee switch. I was able to get it in there, not as cleanly as I would have liked. It did work fine for testing this. All right, so we've got it plugged in the wall. Make sure it's on. Uh, please ignore the dirtiness of this extension cord power strip. All right, so I push the button, it goes red, push it again, it turns green. This cord's flashing because it's not currently connected to anything. Let's get it added to smart things. All right, so they have the instructions in here in the box. So uh, it makes it real easy to get this set up because you can just follow right along with the instructions here and, and you will be able to get it added. But we'll kind of walk through it real quick. All right, so I'm in the Smart Things app. We're gonna go over here and hit the plus symbol to add a device. And take it a second to find everything. All right, so here it is. It came in with the uh, came in listed as a thing device, so kind of generic. We're gonna go ahead and click on that, and I'm just gonna change the name. We're just gonna call it uh, Power Strip. We're done. Say OK. And of course, at this point, it says, please wait. If you read the instructions, the next step, you have to actually go on to the API site and make some modifications to the device here in order to complete the install. So we're gonna click on Power Strip, and we'll do an edit down here down at the bottom. Basically where it says type, we're gonna change that to a Zigbee switch. And everything else can stay the same. We're gonna hit update. All right, now that it's listed as a Zigbee switch, we should be able to jump back over to the SmartThings app. power strip and of course now you can see it has a button so you can turn it on and off it is now configured that's as simple as that it was pretty easy to set up everything looks good let's go ahead and add it into home assistant as just one last step to complete the full install of getting this thing configured the way we want it since i'm using the new smart things integration with home assistant uh there's not a lot of things we have to do to get this uh, showing up in Home Assistant other than we're going to restart Home Assistant so that it can pick up the new devices that are have been added. So, uh, I'm in Portainer. We're going to hit restart. We'll give Home Assistant a second to come back up. 
Then we're going to go over to integrations. Looks like it's already been added in there. I saw it down at the end. Up oh, there it is. Power strip, Zigbee. It's got the functionality down at the bottom. It's currently turned on. And of course, we have the ability to control it here. And then of course, we can add it into uh, uh, Home Assistant and everything else.